Hey everyone, this is Greg from AI Light Show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a DMX Universe profile from scratch utilizing the fixture profiles already saved off within your own database in the Force 1.0 app. All right, so now the first thing we want to do is go into our DMX profile section and confirm that we have all of our individual fixtures saved off within our database. Assuming everything is already in here, we can go right into our DMX Universes section. Now you'll note that I don't have any DMX universes saved off in my own database here, so we really are creating this from scratch. Um, the uh, DMX universe profile we're creating here corresponds to the actual lighting rig that we are bringing to the DJX show this year in August 2023, less than one week away from the time at which this video has been uploaded to YouTube. So for those of you going to the show, you'll see this lighting rig in action. For those of you not, I'll put a picture of it here just to give you an idea of what we're actually creating in the app right now. All right, so first thing, we need to hit the Add button on the bottom, and you'll see the screen broken up in two sections. On the left, it shows all the fixtures within our own database, and on the right is the DMX Universe fixture profile that we need to create. So I'm going to start uh, referencing my cheat sheet that I have next to me right here that has all the DMX addresses and fixture placement IDs already defined. We're going to start with the 3D Vision Plus panels. We have five in our lighting rig, so let's add five. And now what we have to do is define the DMX address for each of these and the fixture placement ID. So the fixture placement ID, I would refer to another tutorial video that we cover that in great detail. But essentially, the fixment placement ID defines how these fixtures are placed with respect to all others in the room or within our lighting rig. That's how the effects engine on the Force 1.0 creates a virtual map of the layout of all the fixtures. All right, so our first fixture here has a fixment placement ID of 9 and it has a DMX address of 250. The second one has a fixture ID of seven and a DMX address of 259. The third one is five and DMX address of 268. The fourth one is six and a DMX address of 403. And finally, our last 3D Vision Plus panel has a fixture ID of 8 and a DMX address of 412. All right, so we're done those. Now what we want to do is we're going to add our Geyser P5. Now this one has a fixture ID of 7 and a DMX address of 500. All right, so we're done him. Now the Doppelbar picks. So these, we have two of these in our lighting rig. We'll add two of them. Uh, the first one has a fixture ID of two and a DMX address of 73. The second one has a fixture ID of 12 and a DMX address of 150. All right, we're done with them. Now we have two Intimidator Spot 360s, so I'll add two of them. The first one has a fixture ID of one and a DMX address of 453. The second one has a fixture ID of 13 and a DMX address of 467. All right, done those. Now we have two Kinta HPs from Shave DJ. The first one fixture ID of 4 and a DMX address of 289. The second one has a fixture ID of 10 and a DMX address of 301. All right, now Rockville Wedge Uplights. We have two of them, each within our totem stands, which are holding the Intimidator Spot 360s. So this one has a fixture ID of 1 and a DMX address of 481. The second one has a fixture ID of 13 and DMX address of 487. All right, we're getting there. So now we're using the Shed's 19 by 15 watt RGB zoom moving heads. We have two of them. The first one is ID of four and DMX address of 313. Second one, we have ID of 10 and DMX address of 360. Done those. Now we have two Eliminator Stealth Wash Zoom moving heads. 
that's those guys, two of them. And first one, fixture ID of six, address 421. Second one is a ID of eight, and DMX address of 437. And the final two fixtures are our UB12H bar lights from American DJ. We have two of those. The first one has a fixture ID of three and a DMX address of one. And the final one has a fixture ID of 11 and a DMX address of 37. So we are now done. We hit the save button. Oh, name field. All right, so good call. So we have to name this thing something. So we will call this the DJX because this is what we're bringing to the DJX show. And we will hit save. It has been saved. We can go back to our DMX universes tab and there it is. So if I go into this, I'll hit the edit button. You'll see all of our fixtures in here, all of the addresses, all the fixment placement IDs. So now the only thing we have to do is transfer this to one of the 10 saved locations on the Forest 1.0 and we are good to run.